Hello and welcome back to Dust and Elysian Tale. I have no idea which part number this will be. But after that little shopping spree, and we should have the cafe. If inconvenient, go there anyway. Ah! Okay, pleasantly surprised I was out of range of that. I also like the fact if you fail that little mini game, it doesn't actually seem to punish you for it. Uh, inventory. Just got a new blueprint there. It's not as good as what I'm currently wearing, so I'm you know, obviously not going to bother with it. One thing that would be nice is, would be if you could sell blueprints. Yeah, that would be kind of useful, but... Oh. Yeah, getting over there could be a little tricky. We're probably not going to bother trying. At least partially because I suspect you've probably got to come at it from the other side. See, I've, I've now got a reasonable number of healing items, I think. Yeah, a few of those, a few of those. And they all do, so yeah. Decent healing, so that is good. good, good, good. Frog jacket, another blueprint. Is that any better? No, that's a lot worse. See, so yeah, what I think I will try and do now is build up my money a bit so that I can do various uh, bits and bobs. Okay, so this might... Ah, let me guess. What I have to do here is basically go over to the left a bit and then drop down, or is... Oh no, the mansion's actually here. Hmm. Is that another servant's note? Yeah, number two. Well, that's grim. There he is. Figured the guy had to be coming sooner or later. No, oh, give me that. That was kind of my own fault for determinately going after the treasure key rather than just running the heck away. No, you don't. Ah! Okay, okay. There we go. Oh, I'm missing... Missed one of the chickens. Use that chicken. Come on, let me out. Ugh. Gotta say, the shops do restock pretty often, which is very good. You know, it means that by the time you get back to one, you can almost certainly guarantee that they'll have what you need. Because that's one trick that a lot of games kind of do, is that they deliberately slow the rate at which you can get stuff in order to slow down your item progression. You know, rather than this game's method, which appears to just be give you a lot of potential items to use. Uh, because the appearance of the main character appears to say constant. That's all of them. I'm sensing a pattern with these items, but we'll let Cora explain. Let's return to the center of the meadow. Okay. Well, that was easy. Guy didn't even attempt to summon exploding zombies. I'm almost depressed. Oh no, wait, not depressed. What's that other word? Really, really happy. That's the one. Uh, yep. Ah! 
Note to self, never open your big mouth. Ah! Ice cream. Eat the ice cream. Now eat some pretzels. Ah! Okay, why did I open my big mouth about the last or not summoning any exploding zombies? Because that one just seems to summon about five. Which is really mean. You can't see it, but I'm doing a you know, really depressed sort of whimpering face. Yeah, explaining what my face is doing is probably not the best commentary, is it? Hmm. I'll work on it. Oh, bloody hell. I wasn't expecting you to be here. But at least you died easily enough. Yay, chest. I say, I do really like the sort of little musical cues. Pendant of the Saint, eh? Hmm. Lowers. Less attack, but significantly boosted defense. Oh, um, I really don't want to take the hit for 60-odd attack. I'll think about it. Oh. Help yourself, don't take a handle for mouse. Just because there's no enemies immediately. Bye. And we're good. Oh, I'll try that one. Okay, so we are doing pretty good. We have all four items. Now we just need to get back to Korra, which means initially going through a little bit of backtracking, a bit of a slog, but... You know, I'll try and take out most of the enemies on the way simply because I can do with the XP boost. That's the thing, this game does have some decent combos. It'd be nice if you could sort of you know, unlock more combos throughout the game as you play. That would be quite nice. Hello, my slightly <sighs> creepy friend. But, you know, I appreciate that, you know, limited budget and so on and so forth. No. Nope. Nothing new to, uh... <sighs> oh. Terribly sorry. Mm. That is slightly better, but you know, not high enough to justify that kind of spending. I don't think I'm gonna actually get Your anything from there. Thank you. And wow, that is pretty impressively heavy range. Positively foul. In a you know, gorgeous, beautiful art style kind of way. That's the thing. Whenever I say something looks ugly in this game, it's clearly because it's meant to. You know, things like the slightly creepy uh, designs of the various creatures. You know, they are obviously designed to look slightly creepy, and that's absolutely fine. Yeah, but they are all within this art style, which is, as I have said many, many times throughout this Let's Play, really beautiful. I really do love it. So, you know, incidentally, if you haven't got this game, you might want to think about it, because... Ow! While it occasionally does slightly cheap stuff to you like that... You know, it's got pretty satisfying combat, really gorgeous art style, I'm enjoying the story. You know, no complaints about sort of any of the voice acting or anything like that. 
apparently what apparently it was criticized by some reviewers but I think those are just really jaded individuals who sort of won't accept voice acting unless it's sort of you know somebody famous or something stupid like that because you know I, I haven't no noticed any significant problems with I haven't noticed any problems with the voice acting and I'm quite picky about voice acting right? I like it to be done well Now, because I do tend to hold voice actors to quite sort of high standards. Okay. This way, wasn't it? Yes. Aha, excellent. Another skill gem, and this time I am going to... Yeah, this time I'm boosting my attack. Contemplated it for a bit, but I think attack was the best choice. Aha! Right, let's finally get on with this main story. Hello, Cora. All right, Cora. I found your four keepsakes. Now, will you please explain what's going on here? Oh, this painting and the ring. My goodness. I'm sorry, Dust. You see, these were my husband's. Many well, I figured that one out. Ago, this was my home. You lived here? Whoa, you must have been loaded. But wait. If you lived here, why wouldn't you move all the way outside of Roran into that tiny shack of yours? It makes no sense! <laughs> when my husband died, the estate fell into disrepair. All the servants abandoned us in a single night. My husband, you see, was not the most pleasant of people to be around. And then, of course, there was the source of his money. Something evil? What did he do? He was something of a war profiteer. He would give the King's General information about Moonblood sympathizers and receive money in return. Our what? Friends, Grim? Our family. Nobody was safe from his treachery. Be an informer. Earn guess. big bucks. That General's name was Gaius. Why, yes. How did you know? Just a pattern I've been noticing is all. So wait. You're saying that demon we've been seeing is... My husband, Cain. His rage has consumed him. And now he is trapped in this place, consuming the souls of wayward travelers to become I feel a boss fight coming. powerful. With my own life drawing to a close, I knew it was time to put things right. But I fear had you not come along, I would not have been able to find these items and free him. So, what do we do now? You've got your four what's it? Is that it? Please tell me that's it. <laughs> Will these keepsakes quell his anger? They are meant to remind him of all the good things he left behind. Rage will become regret, and that will be the time to strike. Wait, strike? Strike? You mean we need to fight that thing? Of course we do. Is there no other way, Ara? Unfortunately, no. The power of those keepsakes will weaken Kane's rage. But we must sever the demon from Cain's spiritual form. Continue attacking him and the connection should break. Then I can cast the demon back into the darkness once more. Prepare yourself, Dust. I am prepared. Here we go. Hello, ugly. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, great, he summoned exploding ones as well. Ah! Well, we're already off to a great start. Oi, stop hurting my little fidget. That sounded kind of wrong. At least its attacks don't seem to do that much in the way of damage. And it's history. That was a lot easier than the last boss fight, I've got to say. 
Hold, Dust. His state has calmed. The rage that consumed him has been driven back into the darkness. Very good. Cora. Cora, is that you? Yes, Cain. Yes, it's me. Is it done? Have you come back to us? Oh, Cora. I have done such terrible things. I betrayed my friends, turned them over to General Gaius for money and power. My life, this mansion, everything I ever owned was bought with the blood of those I loved. It's okay, my love. I know. I know everything. That is why I left you. But I have come to help you set things right once again. Mm. I am so sorry, Cora. I should have trusted you. I should have told you. I just... I thought you would abandon me. I thought the one good thing I ever had would leave me to die alone. I'm here now, my love. And I will never leave you again. And you, robed one, you helped drive that demonic presence away. I owe you a debt of thanks that I fear can never be truly repaid. I did what Actually, was necessary. you can repay that debt right now. You worked with General Gaius, and I aimed to drive him from these lands. I was told you may know something that could help me find him. Well, that's easy. Simply go where there are moonbloods. Their last remaining encampment is hidden far to the north. If General Gaius knew where it was, he would personally lead the charge to wipe it off the map. Do you know where this hidden camp is? Nobody does except for the moonbloods and... But no, that's impossible. I suspect Ginger might know where it is. There was a village of Moonblood sympathizers in the mountains. I revealed their location to General Gaius. Everyone was supposed to be killed, but before I died, I remember hearing that a survivor had escaped Ginger. To Aurora. Ginger? You're talking about Ginger? I'm afraid that's all I know. If you can find this Ginger, perhaps you will find your Moonbloods. From there, you only need to wait for the General to find you. Then we'd better hurry, Dust. Ginger's already got a head start on us. But what about the barrier? The work of the demon that imprisoned me, no doubt. With your twin souls, it likely did not want you to leave this valley before it could devour you. Twin souls? Twin souls? What are you talking about? You did not know. You possess a rare gift. Two souls joined as one. Never have I seen it before. Interesting. Ara, what does he mean? I... Soon, Dust. Very soon, all of this will be explained. Come. We can discuss this later. We must hurry if we are to find Ginger and learn the location of this Moonblood camp. You're right. But we can't just leave Cora here. That's all right, dearie. I've not the strength to return home. And I would rather spend my final hours catching up with my dear husband by my side. I cannot thank you enough, Dust. You've done more for us than I could possibly have asked for. You're I knew welcome, there was Cora. something special about you the moment I laid eyes on you. Thanks seem a paltry thing to offer in return for the deeds you have done here today. But they are all I have to give. I do hope you are able to find your friend in time, and that General Gaius is made to pay for his crimes against this world. Then farewell, my friends. Good luck to the two of you, in this life and the next. Dust, reality check. Did we just exorcise a demon from beyond the pale? Yes, that yes we, we did. did. Hopefully the two of them finally find some semblance of peace. Anyway, let's get moving. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Now, is it actually going to make me backtrack? Yes, it is. Wonderful. Yeah, because I need to go over there, so I might actually use one of my teleport stones to do it quickly. Get a character, and... That's a pretty decent jump, but I think I'm going to upgrade Fidget again. So I'm going to... Save it, and then world map. Yep, totally worth it. Sorry, Meadow, it's going that way. I do really love the sort of sprites for the uh, rabbits. They are absolutely adorable. So 
Alright, we can go through here. Can't get up there. So we've got to go this way. Next chapter. Revelation. Promising chapter title again. A new region has apparently been revealed on the world map. Excellent. Keep moving and try and find Ginger. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Blackmoor Mountains, eh? I mean, undoubtedly it'll be full of more things trying to kill me in horrible ways, but for now... Don't blame it for feeling easy. So given though I was hitting one enemy at a time there, you know, that combo chain was bad. Just the one at which I break out my super attack. Hee <laughs> And down they go. As I, I've got a dodgy feeling I'm probably going to end up not completing the... Oh, the uh, remaining side quests. I mean, it's only a feeling, but for the simple reason I haven't seen things like any... Oh, uh, well, your Lala, something like that. Those sort of flying things in a while. Ooh, lots of ice cream. That's very nice. Pendant of the Madman. Hmm. No. No, I don't want to uh, suffer the defense loss. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I've got to move quickly. Man, note. Well, that's ominous. Ooh, in the sh shop around here somewhere. Be nice to sleep. It'd be nice to see my slightly creepy friend again. Darn it. Whoa, they hit pretty hard. Oh, bother. Didn't actually mean to do that. Anywho, um... Let's do that, I think. Yeah, yep. Right. Let's see if I can do this again without falling down the crevasse and having to kill them all again. Ow! You little pest. Yowza. I mean, I need a bunch of stuff I don't have, but yowza. <laughs> That's a really nice augment. Now, once I actually sort of start getting the stuff I need, I'm definitely going to put that to my next ideal crafting thing. Voila. Alright. Fidget's now fully upgraded for a while, so I'm probably going to put some more points into probably max health, possibly attack. And then get some more defense. I've got to say, I do like the sort of variety in the. Uh, uh oh. Whoa, what was that? Avalanche? Slightest strong move could set off another avalanche. Don't That's look bad. At me. You're the one who can't fly. Yes, but you're the one with the big mouth. Hey! Uh, Fidget. Please be quiet. Fidget? Ah, 
Fidget, much as I love you, please shut up. Hey, hey. So, the great traitor has finally found everlasting peace. Who are you, peace. my mysterious friend? The great traitor? You're talking about Cain? My kind does not utter his name. His actions ended many innocent lives, and while his spirit may be absolved now, we remember only his life and the tragedy it wrought. He seemed truly remorseful for his actions. Perhaps he was. Perhaps we were to accept his remorse. This would not bring my family back. Let us not dwell on his wicked actions any more than we must. Very well. Very well. <laughs> I always love it when I say something and then they say exactly the same thing. Ooh! Birthday cake. Yay! Oh, I am the manliest of gamers. <laughs> he said cynically. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Mm. Mm. All right. Uh, can't even remember what it was I needed now. Oh well, it's probably not poor. I know for a fact he doesn't have at least a couple of the items anyway, so. Your transaction is mo watch your back. I will, thank you. I'm just gonna quickly check. Yeah, inventory. What was it I actually needed? Some more of that. And some metal fragments which I don't have. Yeah. Not hideously expensive. Right. Okay, so which way am I going? I'm going this way. Right. That, I think, is a reasonably convenient point at which to leave off this video. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.